these are the topics we covered in BME 335 under the probability section of the class and these are also the topics that are um, that you're responsible for on exam on exam one so what I'm gonna do is uh, quickly go over the topics um, obviously we're not gonna um, be able to delve deep into any of the topics but I'm just uh, gonna run down the list the first topic that we looked at um, was sets and the things that we did was we found we used a notation for sets that is useful and then we used a, a visualization of sets that can make it easy to ask questions using Venn diagrams and the not set notation uh, the, the simplest set notation for example the set of all vowels are A, E, I, O, U you basically write the elements down but we can also use a notation like this for example the set of all A grades is given by N which is saying that in order to be to get an A you can have any N as long as N satisfies a certain property so N is less than or equal to N lies between 90 and 100 so typically we'll say a set S is given by a set of elements where X and X meets some property or X has a property so on the other hand Venn diagrams are a visual way of doing the same thing and so uh, Venn diagrams are useful in answering questions of uh, membership as answering questions of what is the intersection and stuff like that so then we looked at operations on sets set operations in order to do that we first defined the universal set omega and the null set or the empty set and once we did that we set the tone for all our properties we wrote some the property and then we define operations operations of union uh, complement and intersection and once we had these operations we we were able to do both visualizing sets as well as performing set operations so the kinds of operations we asked ourselves is if a and b are two sets what is uh, if a is a set what is a complement and if a and B are sets, what is A intersection B, what is A union B, and so on, uh, which also then brought us to some uh, interesting observations. The observations had to do what we call as properties, or this is set algebra, if you will. Set algebra gave us. Uh, among other things De Morgan's law which which states that if you have a intersection B the whole complement this is given by a complement union B complement in other words the intersect the complement of intersections is equal to the union of their complements uh, or we can also say the other way if you have the union of two sets and you take the complement of that that's a complement 
intersection B complement. Um, the other properties we saw um, uh, among them, the most Im interesting property is the distributed pr distributive law, which says A intersection B union C is equal to A intersection B union A intersection C. Um, this is very similar to our uh, arithmetic operation where if this was uh, A times B plus C is A times B plus A times C but in the case of sets there is a other property also which says A union B intersection C that is if we switch the union and intersection then this is given by A union B intersection A union C. So these were some of the properties we looked at uh, and then we also asked ourselves some other interesting questions about sets um, which were then used in deriving our axioms of probability. So which was the second problem topic then was probability and first thing we did about probability is we looked at the definition so the probability and probability is defi defined is defined on events and event is simply a set. So that's the reason why we led from sets to probability. So we say that um, the, the probability of an event is given by the number of outcomes favorable to the event divided by total number of possible outcomes. So that was our definition. So this, in other words, this is uh, if we have an any experiment that we perform where the event is simply a subset of the possible outcomes, then this is saying take the size of the event set and divide it by the size of the set of all possible outcomes. And so that that is the probability of an event. Um, so which which has some interesting properties so first we looked at um, we looked at we define what uh, so I'm not going to get into all the specifics but we asked for what 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 are called first disjoint even so I'm not I'm going to simply list the topics when do we say that two events are disjoint we asked about independence of events dependence this is a property that says that two events if two in events a and b are in said to be independent if and we which led to actually the conditional probability of probability idea if two events are independent then the probability of a intersection B is given by the probability of A times the probability of B. We extended this further when we looked at conditional probability and we'll get to that in just a second. Um, two events are said to be disjoint if, if A intersection B is equal to 
the nuls that there is there nothing in common so that's the definition so independence is a very different property from two events being disjoint um, so one of the advantages of knowing that two events are disjoint then is the probability of a union B is given by the probability of A plus the probability of B. In other words, disjoint events, if you want to visualize it, are two events that have nothing in common. Therefore, the union of those two, this is A and that's B, since they have nothing in common, the probability of A union B of either A occurring or B occurring is the probability of A plus the probability of B. Uh, in a more general scenario, if we have two events A and B that may have something in common, so these are A and B, these are two events that have some common scenarios or outcomes that are common to both of them so their 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 intersection is not null then we say that p a union b is given by p a plus p b minus p a intersection B. Now there, there are many ways to think about this. Um, in fact, the the simplest way to imagine this is if I if I if they do have a common common term, then A includes this term, this common area. B includes that common area. So P A plus P B would be counting this common area two times and but we are saying that that's double counting to eliminate the double counting we say that probability of a union b is count it once count it twice but take it away once so that is our formula so we use this formula often to describe our union in terms of individual probabilities and the intersection so